Hi, we're Team 17, IBM Smarter Planet's uh, solar-powered intelligent compost system. Basically, the um, idea of our system is to take the process of home composting for gardening and to streamline it and make it more efficient and to automate the process. Um, using a solar panel to uh, be able to add renewable um, parts of the equation and to make the entire system self-sufficient. Well, going through the system itself, it's controlled by an Arduino that takes uh, an internal reading from a temperature sensor and also from a timer. And based on those two readings, it'll tell the drum when to rotate. The system will be running in a moment here. I'll let you know when it's going on. As part of the composting process, you need to have temperature be controlled to a certain extent. If it gets too hot, the bacteria inside starts to die. So you need to rotate the drum every day to keep uh, hot spots from forming to make sure temperature and the material gets all mixed in. Normally this would be rotated by hand. It gets really, really heavy when you have a lot of material in there. So adding a motor to it makes the process run a lot easier. If you look down here, you can see there's an alarm light going off right now. This indicates that the system's about to start running. Alarm goes off. There's also a buzzer that's disconnected right now. After the buzzer goes off, the drum will start rotating to rotate the material and mix the material inside the drum. Charges through a charge controller to a battery that would provide power to the entire system, including the Arduino board and the motor drive circuit and the alarm circuit, and makes the entire thing self-sufficient. It can run for six days without any sunlight whatsoever before it would need to recharge. And, um, Ideally, everything here would be able to be bought off the shelf in terms of components. This is commercially available. Arduino you can buy. Same thing with the battery and the motor are all parts that you could buy and put together for a system. Shooting for an aftermarket kit add-on in the neighborhood of $500, maybe $600. Not sure if there's a market yet, but it's something we're looking into.